on Harriet. Mm. I think we're on. Okay. Yep, you're on. Okay. Well, welcome back. And it's a great pleasure for Susan and I, as Senior Vice President and President, to announce the GA Annual Awards this afternoon. We've many wonderful achievements to celebrate, and the full citations will be available on the GA website. So, the Award for Excellence in Leading Geography. This award is presented to those articles in each of our journals that have made the greatest contribution to the development of good practice as decided by a poll on the GA website. This year's winners are Julia Tanner, Joe Asher, and Fiona Tweed. The GA Publishers Awards, the, sorry, Susan? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay, the GA Publishers Awards recognise resources that make a significant contribution to geography. In the highly commended category, the award goes to four recipients. Firstly, Insight and Perspective, A-Level Geography Independent Investigation by Andy Owen. This is, this is a comprehensive and highly um, high quality resource, which was student focused and accessible. Also in the highly recommend, commended category, are the time for geography knowledge booster videos. Each video uses engaging presenters and subject experts from universities and has a clear and informative and dynamic presentation which is student focused and accessible. They are the short and long carbon cycle with the Exeter University, temperate deciduous forests with Greenwich, multicultural in London with Kingston and Esri UK, Stores of Carbon on Planet Earth with Liverpool John Moores, Evidence of Climate Change with Sussex, and finally Structure of the Earth with Trex, Sussex University and Kiel. Next in the highly commended is the Waddell Sea Expedition Education Resources. The Waddell Sea Exhibition investigated ice shelves in Antarctica and documented the marine life of ecosystems. This wonderful resource of rich support materials for teachers from Key Stage 2 to Key Stage 5 is available online. Also in highly commended is the Encounter Edu Climate and Energy and Coral Oceans Awards for, for Key Stage 4. In the silver category, we have Richard Buston's Geography Education and the Capabilities Approach. Whilst there's lots of resources on the Geo Capabilities resource, this resource, this publication brings together the discussions in one place. It's a useful professional development tool for all teachers of geography. Continuing in the silver awards, um, Akea, Akea Books GeoGo board game uses ordnance survey maps and clever, um, sorry, um, ordnance survey maps um, to create a board game. Also in the silver category are the knowledge booster videos for tectonic hazards. These two videos show different causes of tsunamis and show how disciplinary knowledge is developed through tectonics hazards fieldwork. And finally, we have the wonderful Dry, the Diary of a Water Superhero book produced by the University of the West of England. Uh, the judges thought this fantastic picture book struck a perfect balance of powerful storylines supported by excellent artwork to deliver a range of interesting geographical facts. The quality
quality marks. Oh, sorry. The GA <laughs> primary and secondary quality marks recognize schools who demonstrate quality and progress in geography leadership, curriculum development, teaching and learning. In 2019, 60 primary schools gained their geography quality mark, a wonderful achievement. The Gold Award was given to eight primary schools who lead the way in providing excellent and innovative geography. There were 32 secondary schools who gained their quality mark with 13 identified as centers of excellence. All the schools were celebrated in the autumn 2019 edition of GA Magazine. Further details of the quality mark awardees are available on the GA website. The, the GA Professional Award recognizes and rewards teachers of geography who can demonstrate that they can evidence and have reflected on the impact of development of professional practice, professional development in their practice. And this should be seen on the, this year, the recipients are Emma Johns from Hertfordshire and Simran Juhal in Finchley and in Finchley, London. Congratulations. <coughs> For Worldwise, the International Geography Olympiads is a team competition for the best 16 to 19 year old geography students from all over the world. Zachary Elliott, Alex Tew, Naomi Gammon and Freya Ruparel won a GA competition to represent the UK at 2019's event in Hong Kong. The Physical Geography competition offers a chance for secondary students to showcase their photography skills combined with skills in describing and explaining the physical geography where they're captured. The theme for this year's competition was wonderful physical geography. And we'd like to thank the Physical Geography Special Interest Group for their work on the competition. I'm going to um, pop through the slides now. The first prize goes to Loe Cripwell and you'll be able to see the other winners and the photographs as I go through the slides, thank you. Also to acknowledge Charlotte Parrish um, for her um, A-level investigation, to what extent is there a relationship between age and perceived success of regeneration in Southwater, awarded by the Post-16 and Higher Education Committee um, Special Interest Group. And now we turn to volunteers who've contributed to the GA community. The GA Certificate is an award given for service on a GA committee or special interest groups. Mike Simmons has been a committed member of the Assessment and Examination Special Interest Group since 2012. He has led a number of successful sessions at conference, as well as making significant contributions to the planning of others. The GA Outstanding Service Diploma is an, award, is an award given for outstanding service to the GA through membership of and contribution to the work of its committees and special interest groups. This year, the, the award is given to Catherine Owen, 
Paula Owens and Charles Rording. Catherine has been part of the International Special Interest Group for over a decade and is now its chair. She's been the driving force between the ISIG Going Global Keep It Real initiative. Paula Owens has been a long-standing member of the Primary Geography Editorial Board. Her experience and continuing work in the primary phase give her contributions a unique validity. Her work on progression in primary geography has been particularly significant. Charles, Charles Rawlings' contribution to the work of teacher education within the GA has been enormous. He was chair of the Teacher Education Special Interest Group, and many of his books and journal articles are widely used in the teacher education community to support teacher training as well as classroom-based teaching and learning. Now the GA Distinguished Service Awards. This new award recognises individuals who've made a notable contribution to the work of the GA and its charitable mission, particularly through specialist volunteer groups in the geographical community over a sustained period of time. This year, the award goes to Alan Marble and Paul Whedon. Alan has been a member of the post-16 Higher Education Phase Committee since 1995 and vice chair for 10 years. He's a regular contributor to GA publications and to conference. Alan has also served as a trustee for the GA for six years as, a, and as, a, as an elected member of governing body from 2012 to 2018. Paul Whedon has made a significant contribution to the GA and the wider geography education community with his work as a geography teacher and geography teacher educator and also served on the assessment and examination special interest group. A key piece of Paul's work for many years has, to be, has been to lead on the annual analysis of the GCSE and A-level results and prepare a report for the GA. The GA's award, Annual Award for Excellence. This award is for an individual who's made a significant contribution to furthering geographical knowledge and understanding through education and the work of the GA over the previous year. This year, I'm delighted to say the award goes to Anthony Barlow. Anthony is a true champion of the GA and works tirelessly to ensure the association is known by all involved in primary education. Over the last year, Anthony has continued developing exceptional practices in geography education in the BA in Education at Roehampton University. His publications over the last year have, have included co-authoring Mastering Primary Geography and The Rising Stars Geography, a new edition of the highly successful Voyagers series. <laughs> And now one of the very best parts of being the president of the GA, the Honorary Membership Award. This is the highest award that the GA makes and recognises the enormous contribution that the recipients have made to the GA and to geography and education. And this year, the award goes to Steve Rawlinson. Steve has, been, has given outstanding service to the GA over many years and is held in the highest regard. He's taken a leading role with respect to GA governance as president in 2015-16 in publications, CBD, membership and work with young people. His integrity, understanding of geography education and the wisdom that he brings to it mean that he represents the trusted voice of our association in a unique and admirable way. These achievements richly deserve the highest recognition. Congratulations, Steve. And finally, I'm delighted to announce uh, some appointments. So Alwyn Linton Smythe has been appointed Chair of Trustees of the GA Governing Body for a three-year term from September 2020. Alwyn has formerly worked for Pearson and was Programme Director of the Global Learning Programme in England. 
And I'm also very pleased that Dan Cowling has been appointed as an elected member to the governing body. Dan has served on the post 16 HE phase committee for many years. He takes up a new appointment as head of Oakwood School in Hillingdon next week. Good luck on that one, Dan. And finally, congratulations to all those who have received an award. And thank you everyone for joining us to celebrate these outstanding achievements.